Alright, so we should be live here. To anyone out there listening, um, apologies in advance if you hear any strange noises around. We have a cat on a tear in the background. So, hello to everyone out there. Welcome back to this playthrough of Super Robot Wars Z2 Saisei. I'm Ryu, this is Zero. When last we let off. When last we left off. We lost many important things in the struggle with Insulam. Kitty. Pony. <sighs> Cats on a tear. <clears throat> so. Insulam showed up to try and kidnap Eureka, which they, in fact, did. I'm noticing I'm... I'm noticing this button turned a little bit. Smidge. That should be fine. So. <clears throat> Islam kidnapped Rekka, and as a result of that, Renton headed out with the Nirvash to try and recapture her. This did not go so well. What made things even worse is the fact that the Knight of Knights of Islam, Sir Gerard, wound up deploying in his personal mech, the Diamond. Which is really powerful and can transform into a centaur version, wielding the sacred spear Gabolg. Joy. While fighting him, Crow's spear wound up activating itself. And that wound up activating its drawbacks. <coughs> which is a glorious thing, meaning that his sphere of the swaying scales, he will focus on the task at hand to the exception of all else. This includes ignoring the other people who are actively attacking him. As a result of that, Esther was turned into a dimensional beast and taken away. However, just when all seemed lost, as Crow was going on a rampage and quite possibly about to attack the rest of Zexus, who should show up but Rand Travis, protagonist of the male protagonist of the original Z game in the Gunleon. Hi, Coney. Um, what are you doing? Okay. Okay, Cap. So, the Gunleon showed up and stopped Crow, rather brutally, as he is wont to do, as expected of the Crusher. But either way, <coughs> Crow was stopped, Rand has joined us, and things are looking okay for now. I mean, after all, we've got two sphere... two sphere... sphere reactors, that's the term. Two sphere reactors on our side. What can stop us now? The answer? Hell. Quite possibly. Just check and see what else would be good on Crow. Bolt save. Bolt save. Next. And so, we go off <coughs> to fall into the netherworld. Ptolemaeus briefing room. <coughs> well then, as of now, we shall commence the interrogation. Yes, we also wound up capturing one of the arc sabers who wound up ejecting from his cockpit. Ah, uh, yes. To begin with, this interrogation will be carried out in accordance with the Earth Feder United Earth Federation, <coughs> the Earth Federation's rules on prisoners of war. Is it alright to believe that? So long as you cooperate with us, we don't intend to take any violent actions against you. As long as you answer the questions we need, we shall guarantee your safety. Let's see. Of course, you're perfectly free for you to refuse to talk as well. Understood. On the honor, on the honor of the Arcsaber, first, I promise my assistance to you as a prisoner of war. As expected. So far as I can see from what we saw of Margaret, they truly do have a knightly mentality ingrained into them. Since he's given us his word, word, I don't think there'll be any need for me to use a gyas on him. Well then. Let's begin with your name and rank. My name is Kevin... Kevin McLaren. Uh, part of the Arc Saber's third com 
Let's see, my rank is... You even rank knights. Third in the order. What do you say? <clears throat> My dictionary is putting that as climax position three. I don't think that's right, so. <clears throat> third highest in the He's a third rank eight. knight. Let's go with that. <clears throat> if I was to put it in your military terms. I'd be an officer. We've heard about we've heard most of what's happened in Insulam's past from Margaret Pistol. Is your current objective conquering this earth? Let's see. <coughs> <coughs> in order to resurrect our country that was long ago destroyed by the King of Destruction. This is but a first step towards our goal. I'd heard that Insulam was entirely destroyed by the King of Destruction. But your goal is to bring it back? I don't know how much you've heard from Lady Margaret. Let's see. But during that fight, roughly 60% of the citizens of Insulam wound up dying in combat. And looks like roughly half of the lands were destroyed. Yep, half of the lands were scorched. What could be better? In other words, you weren't entirely destroyed. However, it isn't true that we sustained incredible damage. In order or to be able to recover, we needed materials, power, and effort. But that's the reason you're attacking our planet? Let's see. Since so long ago, that's what war has been about, isn't it? If there's something you need, you just go and get it. Let's see. <clears throat> when did Lady Margaret and Lord Cheval. I could see a couple of differences from what we heard from Lady Margaret and Lord Cheval. Yes, back during in the attack by the King of Destruction, they were lost in the first wave of attack. And at that rate, they were taken away by Armley Ard. However, some of us still survived. And even though we did pay an enormous amount of sacrifices, we were able to repel the King of Destruction. So Insulam repelled the King of Destruction? Exactly right. After that, we heard that he'd come to this world of yours. So that explains why Insulam's power is more than we had expected. Hmm. Let's see. So what that means is that from the start they'd had more power than the King of Destruction. However, Lady Margaret was taken in by Amlard's lies and wound up leaving her post. If you understand our power, and please, cease this foolish resistance. If you surrender before his hands becomes ang angry, this entire world... If you don't surrender before his becomes angry, this entire world would be destroyed. I can't imagine that that foolish prince doing something like that. No, unreliable prince. Let's go with that. You... You don't understand the true terror of Prince, Uth Prince Uther and Salam. <clears throat> See, <clears throat> when he was ruled, the prince was ruled by rage. He couldn't even be compared to the King of Destruction. Huh? His father, King Insalam the Seventy Second, was also kept done in by his son think that prince would have killed his own father. <clears throat> See. After that, the prince wanted to make it in the head of, of science, Ambron Zeus, into his prime minister and decided to invade this world. Ambron Zeus, the old lady who was commanding the flagship. 
too. Even if we are from a parallel world, the Earth is still our home. We don't wish to see it destroyed by our prince's rage. <clears throat> anything more... If I were to say anything more, it would be... be rude. This is as far as I can speak. Thank you very much, Sir Kevin. We'll make use of what... You, we'll make use of what you've said in our considerations from now on. Thank you for your assistance. As we'd promised, we shall release you here. The fact that you're people who are willing to listen to reason is convenient for me as well. Let's see. When I return to my squad, I'll be sure to let them know that you're people we can be who can be reasoned with. Is it over? For now at least. Lend him a small transport craft and let him go. Setsuna, alleluia. I leave the rest to you. Understood. The next time we meet, she'll most likely be on the battlefield. At that time, I shall put my pride on the Narc Saber on the line and fight you with my full strength. Roger Smith. I'd asked you to come in here as an observer. What did you think of him? Let's see. At the very least, the fact that he was friend of the prince doesn't seem to have been a lie. At Uther and Salam. Looks like we weren't able to see through... Looks like we can't rely on what we've seen of him. In that case... Doing as Sir Kevin suggested and surrendering would be even more dangerous. Hi, Connie. Okay. I have the same opinion. After all, in almost any war, it's unlikely that the victors will be concerned about the plight of the losers. Unfortunately, it seems as though we will not be able to reach peace within Salaam. Uh, about that already. I'll go ahead and tell Commander Otsuko about it so he can relate to the Federation's top brass. And for that sake, Zexus should... I believe that J Zexus should head off to Japan. It may be pointless for us, though. What do you mean? <clears throat> All of the top officials of the Federation are being manipulated by the A-Laws. See. At this point in time, as the A-Laws have taken control, we are likely to be the only ones able to capable only ones capable of facing in Salaam. Even so, we prepared ourselves. All we can do is keep on going. Hmm. We'll soon. We'll need to rel relay this information to all, everyone in the group. But there is a reason for us to go to Japan. I think. After all, everyone's been in a state of shock with what happened to Esther. Even if we aren't able to escape this fight with Islam, at least for a little while, we ought to get, try and get a change of pace for everyone. I'd also heard that the Twinkle Project was coming to Japan. At the very least, it'd be nice if they could, could take a short break and enjoy it. It would be nice. Tower's Warehouse. Hang on. See. In the end, Brand didn't know that much about the spheres either, huh? <sighs> and with that, he's the only lead I've got left. Are you okay, Crow? You're making a really weird face there. <clears throat> After all, all of her, for the past few days here, I've been stuck dealing with Rand. <sighs> After two days drinking with him, I've pretty much lost all my money. Uh, this is the worst. Um, that Esther girl, it seems like things are pretty tough for you. Thanks for your thoughts, Renton. After all, I know that you're, you've got more than enough to deal with with just what's happened to Eureka. I've already gone ahead and changed my thoughts, gone ahead and put my thoughts in order here. After all, we adults have to be the ones to worry about kids like you. Even if my debt's a problem as always. 
crow. Uh, uh, that was a good drink I had yesterday. It's not nice to string crow out like that with promise. String crow out like that over drinks with the promise of information. I didn't intend to do anything like that. I mean, I just tried to put together what I knew and what he knew to see if we could come up with anything new about it. And after all, repairing his machine was pretty tough. Although at least half of that's your fault. Well, after all. Well, I am getting my money's worth out of his mon out of his drinks though. So, Rand. Are you and Crow destined to kill each other here, you think? Oh, uh, don't joke like that. After all, I'm nothing like that Asuke man that, uh, I'm guy you've all talked about. I mean, sphere reactors may be able to get the hold of the power of another sphere reactor by killing them, but I'm a repairman. So long as I've got gear to fix and delicious alcohol to drink, I've got no interest in any spheres or things like that. And besides, that guy's doing it. Everything he's got is a t giving everything he's got is a test pod in order to pay off his debt. I'm sure he's the same. Let's see, some sort of saying here. <clears throat> See. So in other words, as long as I and Asuka aren't here, nothing bad should happen. That's how it is. But well, this must be some kind of fate too. After we're all, in order to save Miss Setsuko, what will need to be done? Those guys who turned Miss Est turned that Esther girl into a monster. It's two birds with one stone. I'll do everything I can to help. As expected of the heat. Hey, Koji. You said we're heading to Japan, right? Are there hot springs there? Yeah. I had heard about them from my father. There's a place in Atami called the Kuraganeya. It's got huge open-air baths, delicious food, food, and it's overall a really nice place. Yeah. What's with that? I mean, w weren't you living there? Come on, tell me a bit more about it. If you want to hear about that place, I'll tell you about it. There's a demon living there. A demon? Yeah, that's right. The person in charge of that Kuraganea? She's a demon without blood or tears. <coughs> No matter what they may have <laughs> said about that ki Prince of Insulam, he's nowhere near on that level. Well, this is truly a monster. Koji seems pretty upset. Yeah. <clears throat> Back when we were fight- Back in Germany, seems like Koji and Shiro had something happen with the proprietors. <clears throat> Let's see. At the p this point in time, Shiro's left the Kuragane and is currently living at the Photon Power Laboratory. Uh, Kagi, do you guys know what happened at all? Uh, er, I'd heard that he was acting kind of strange, but... Koji... I'd heard that he had s Koji just said, it's something between me and her, and stopped talking about it. Takeru, Mr. Takeru, your mom's pretty close with the proprietors of the Kuraganea, right? Have you heard anything from her about it? No, not particularly. What's wrong, go? Enemies are coming. You can understand that, that go? All of you, my preparation subscribe immediately. Is something happening, father? Makabees are headed towards Atami. We need to launch a counterattack. So this is that Dr. Hellguy's armies I've heard about? Those guys. 
I thought they'd been too quiet for a while, but I think they're still going on. Be careful, Koji. Go. My precognition sensing something as well. I've got a bad feeling about this. Even if that's the case, we've got to do something. Let's go, guys. Oddly, I don't think there's a secret on this stage. I mean, you can check. Dr. Hell. <clears throat> even if Zex... Even if it's trying... Even if you're just trying to draw out Zexus, you've brought out quite the numbers, haven't you? Or is it that you're, you finally decide to try and come and take me out? Miss Tsubasa... It'll be fine. Uh, I'm guessing... I think... Takara's mother's name is Shizuko. Yes, Shizuko. It'll be fine, Shizuko. After all, well, I don't want to cause any trouble for you. As for payment for, for sticking around me for so long, I'll be sure to protect you. <clears throat> Tsubasa, you can't just throw your life away here. After all... You still need to tell Koji and Shiro the truth about everything. About the fact that you're... Or their mother. I know. After all, I don't intend to die yet. Kick the bucket here yet. What's the time? Until that... That time comes... I'll be... No. <clears throat> After all... Oh, well, in preparation for something like this happening, I've been sure to prepare a proper bodyguard. The greatest of all! All right, it's finally our turn! But boss, are we really gonna be okay in a robot like this? I mean, no. I mean, of course, even if the Photon Power Research Lab wound up remodeling this, it's way too, too crazy for us to fight Mecha Beasts. Ah, shut it. If we can't even do this, we really won't be able to do anything, will we? It's exactly like boss said, all of you. After all, you have quite the guts to no, or the proprietor who's helped you out and given you somewhere or to live for the past while here, wouldn't you? Professors, the professor's saying it too. If you retreat here, we'll cut you down. B but that's... Ah, don't worry, kiddos. After all, we'll be with you here too. And Zexus should arrive soon as well. Until that time, we'll have to be the ones to protect Atom and the proprietors. Alright, let's go! That's super, sir. What is she trying to pull? Do not... You're completely wrong if you think a robot like that can stop Dr. Hell's mecha beasts. Pay for your foolishness with your life! All units, commence attack! Destroy all enemies. All we have is the boss Boro. The greatest of all robots. The first... Does it have sub-pilots? But the greatest of all comedy robots. Please note, it has an A in land, B in sky, B in space, C in water. It really... It's literally junk. Oh, hello. hello. It's been nice a while since we've seen you. Yes. Oh no. my god, he actually does have sub-pilots. Yes! Because, I mean, there's all three of them in there. But yes, he has Vigor, Accelerate, Wall, the other wall, and Will Up. Prevent level 5, Support Attack level 2, and Strong Luck. Yep. Yep. Boss, I'm, and the other two I'm idiots. very pleasantly surprised that he actually has sub-pilots. Yes, you've got Nuke with Scan and... Servants. Yes. And then Mucha, who's got Lock On and Range Up. The boss mower is capable of resupplying energy. That's about all of note. But it does have three attacks. All plus Tackle, movement. power arm, and help us out, guys! Call in the Kuragane 5. I was going to say, is that is that in this one or is that in the next one? You get it in both. It's just in Z3, you get it later. Did he? I've not really watched any Mazingers. I need to actually try and watch to find them. Dialogue. Let's go, Nuke Mucha! 
Mr. Cross, Mr. Hunt, Professor, Chango, Old Lady. With this boss borrow, we'll protect the Tommy and the Proprietors. I'm surprised you're not in your box, Connie. Hello. <laughs> Loses its head. Oh, boss borrow. I really hope I don't have to deal with this for more than three turns. I don't think so. But yes, the boss borrow. I hardly ever use it in any Super Robot Wars. But it may actually be better than I think. Most of the units are quite good. Hello, kitty. I mean, it's certainly crazy. Is that a washing machine? Probably. It was built with whatever scrap they had. Yep. <laughs> no. <laughs> it only costs 10 <laughs> credits to repair when blown up in a lot of games. That well, sounds I mean, about right. <laughs> well, I mean, how do you repair it? You just have to go to the nearest scrap pile and dig out whatever junk you can find. That'll be enough, right? I mean, that's how the Photon Research Lab put it together in the first place. This is strange. Even for Dr. Hell, this is far too artless of a fighting style. Don't tell me. Does he really think he can win against Sexus with just power? Alright! Looks like our heads come! Alright! Tommy's still safe? Of course it is, Koji! After all, we're here! Is that boss in that robot? Da 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 da! And the main squad has arrived! Mewed. Mewed. And the heroes have arrived! It's me and the Boss Boro! Quite frankly, I don't think even Loguel could save the Boss Boro. <clears throat> so you'll finally come, Koji Kabuto! And Zexus! This Count of Atami shall be your grave! Ashura! Uh, you've come back again? All units, prepare to deploy. We shall strike down the Mecha Beasts. That shall not be allowed! Emerge, Kedra! What? What the hell is that? Wow, that takes a long time what? to get it. Crash onto the Mossinger! This is bad, Hayato. Let's see. A number, number of those sorry monsters have infiltrated the tower! Are they new biological weapons? Ha ha ha! Those are the mechanical life form Ketera! I'm probably butchering that name as it's probably something Greek. Kira? It's Ketora. I think Kira is a thing. They consume machines and use them to grow! What? Ah, what is this? They trying to eat the Ptolemy? I think you'd use the Keteras. You Dr. Hell's gone crazy? Lady Tsubasa. The Ketera have already been released. You have no method of stopping them. But aren't you exactly the same? Just look at that! The impossible! They're even trying to eat the abdo- Are you six? They're the most terrifying and evil existence. That Dr. Hell. Well, he should have known better than release those. We are... Kedora. That, that monster? It spoke? We are Kedora. The, the soldiers of the Mycenaea. Mycenaea. That monster is a remnant of the Mycenaean culture. Destruction. We shall destroy all other than the Mycenaeans. And now. Ooh. This isn't good. Don't. It looks as if... It looks as if that Kedra that stuck onto that Mecha Beast has started resonating with all of the others. And thanks to that, the dimensional boundaries are wavering? What's happening, Professor? It looks like a dimensional quake. Destroy everything. Th this shifts. 
And now, chapter 26. Fall into Netherworld. Okay, we're good. Or descent into hell. <clears throat> what the hell is this? We got wrapped up in that dimensional quake that the Kedras started. This is the world that the Kedras see. Prison of time where the past and future intermingle. Are you the proprietress? What you are seeing right now is me in the past. Where here is where we are now, time has no meaning. Koji, Zexus. I wonder what you're all seeing. Where is this? This is the world of sea. Yes. This is a world without lies. You're... You've gotten a lot older, Lelouch. Mother? Is that you? Mother! You don't look so good, go. Go! Where did your eyes go? Oh, have you died? Go! This is... Satsuna? What is this? It feels as if... My spirit is... Mingling with Camille's? This feeling... Satsuna, you're... This rainbow is... Renton. Hureka? I've been waiting. I've been waiting for so long. I'm coming to save you! I'll definitely come and find you! Hureka! Oh god, everyone's either going to be at max will or no will after this. That. This is... Space? Simone. You've gotten a lot larger. That voice is... But you... Humanity must not be allowed to advance any further. Nia. Is that you, Nia? Farewell, Simone. Nia! Crow! What the hell's with... What the hell's with this place? It's pitch dark? This is the place in the furthest depths of your souls. Asakim! To think that you'd show up even somewhere like this. You finally showing up to try and devour me? Exactly right, Crow. I've been awaiting our next encounter. Alto. Alto. Cheryl? Ronka? Listen to my song! What the hell's with you? <laughs> of course. And thou. That's. That giant. That golden giant. It looks exactly like the Mazinger. That is, the traitor god Zeus! The enemy of the Mycenaeans! Baron Ashura! In ancient times, back in those days, all of the oceans belonged to the Mycenaeans, and all of the lands belonged to them as well. See. All humans feared heard the Mycenaeans and bowed before us. Mycenaeans? Yes. And the one who stole everything from us was that Zeus! Heart God, Hades! Zeus! Zeus! What the hell was that? Hey, Koji, where the hell are we? It's pure white field. Captain! Uh, all of our sensors and radars are showing abnormalities! By matching the topological data here, even if it's not complete, we have an 86.8% .8 possibility that this isn't the world that we know. We're... Did we land up in an entirely different world due to that dimensional quake? Back to Atami. A cross-quarter briefing room. What's happening? Where are Aldo and the others? Please calm down, Miss Cheryl. We know that they were wrapped up in a dimensional quake, but that is all we know at this point in time. We're currently investigating what's happened. As soon as we know something, we'll let you know. I sincerely apologize, Lieutenant Kathy. Let's see. 
Both Shell and Ronka run over here immediately as soon as they heard. I'll tell everyone. Johnny. Is there anything you could do? After all, can't we figure out where they are? Uh, be quiet. If you just keep on shouting like that, we aren't going to get anywhere. You're the one who should shut it! Sarah, you're the one in the wrong here. After all, Cheryl, Ronka, the and Ada are all worrying about people they care for. It's just like Milan says. Even if it's you, who there are limits to how indelicate you can be. I mean, come on. Ah, don't work. Don't keep on yammering on at me like that. After all, we have something else we should be doing. What's that? That's not like you, Cheryl. After all, I was certain you'd know. That's... singing? <laughs> exactly right, Ronka. You... what the hell are you saying at a time like this? Cheryl... What? What's wrong with you? It could be that they're... that Mr. Massar is actually right. What do you mean, Miss Grace? We know that Miss Ronka and Mr. Brassara's songs are able to send out fold waves. If we wound up amplifying them, might be we might be able to contact the people who've been lost in another world. Your dimension. Is something like that possible? Well, we may as well try it. After all, we know as a result of Bizarre's fight against the Proto Devlin that his songs are able to transcend dimensions. Mr. Elmo, please contact the Frontier Fleet and ask them to send over the new full amps as soon as they can. Y yes! Good luck, Ronka. Yeah. Wait for me, Alto. I, I'll sing my heart out here. Please come back. I hope my song reaches. See. Uh, her emotion levels are rising. How oh, incredible, little queen. This is a good opportunity. <clears throat> It'll be a nice test here to see if your songs truly can breach through the dimensional barriers. God. Are you not going to sing? I have no time to go along with something as stupid as this. I'm just going to pray that Alto and the others are alright. Is that so? As a fun note to everyone watching, Gamlin Kizaki, the bluish haired person there, is voiced by Dio, like a number of other people in this game. Dio's no, no. voice actor. No, no, we don't have Mula Flaga as well, but we do have, um... Zex Marquis. Zex Marquis. What do we know about the current situation? Let's see. Well, Schwart and since Schwartz went down on reconnaissance, from what he was able to gather, there aren't any buildings or other structures, man-made structures, within 100 kilometers. So it's just an endlessly continuing white plain, huh? This is almost like a world of death, isn't it? Shotaro. Hey, Shotaro. This is... Yeah, I thought so, too. It's just like the area around the zone, isn't it? The zone is, uh, that thingy, right? That thing that Setsuko's trapped in? That's right. <clears throat> See, in the surroundings, everything around it was just like this. Yes. Like white and... perfectly white and drained of all life. So, is this... does this place have something to do with the zones? Yeah, we don't know that. But the one thing that's certain is that this place isn't, a go isn't good. Yeah. I've got a bad feeling about this place. Will, will we be able to get back to our original world? The one that flung us over here was that Kedra. So if, we, if we were able to capture it... That's exactly right. Proprietors? I'll have this guy do all the talking. Paranashura! Sewer also got flung over here. All right then. 
Explain it to us. What's with that Kedra thing you used? That was... That was... Let's see... That was a combat intelligence that the ancient Mycenaeans used to move their mecha beasts. Ancient Mycenaeans... The mysterious culture of the past that warred with the gods. You know about it, girl? You're not gonna talk... Don't open your mouth! The gods of the ancient Mycenaeans were a proud race of gods who warred with the entire galaxy. They were able to transcend space and time. Hey, and fought across the entire galaxy with beings known as the Baal. Baal? They were a terrifying foe. Let's see. An unknown life form. And the enemy and the fated enemy of any who live. The gods. Yeah! What's happening? It's terrifying. Even to try and remember it is terrifying. Get a hold of yourself, Ashura. If you want to get back to your original world, we need your powers. Ashura, why do you know about those ancient Mycenaeans in the Kedra? My name is Isold. My name is Tristan. What the hell's they- what the hell are they saying? I've remembered everything. Thanks to that past that the Kedra showed me. That fight against that giant- about those two giants? The golden one and the pitch black one? Our names were Tristan and Isold. The prophets of the Mycenaean gods. This person... So, Baron Shura was one of the ancient Mycenaeans? <coughs> In order to ter return to our original world, we must find the Master Arkedra and have it cause a dimensional quake once more. I shall be the one to take responsibility for that. And you are just trying to trick us here? I have a reason I must return back. Yes. In order to meet with Dr. Hell. I owe him a great debt for bringing us back from beyond the grave. That debt. It's not something that something of this level could diminish. Ah, we already know more than enough about your fanaticism. But I suppose that's why we can trust you. All this left Texas is for you to trust him. But even if you say that, Join friends with an enemy like that? <clears throat> King Shotaro oh, may not know much about it, but this guy's been a major pain for us. But there's no way we could trust something an evil villain like this says. After all, isn't it obvious that they're lying? I'm begging you. Please, lend us your strength. In order to return to our original world. In order to meet with Dr. Hell again. I will do anything! Sure. Uh, I don't know what the hell's up with this guy, but they really do want us to go back to their original world. Yeah. I mean, they're really traveling with their entire heart poured into it. Sure. Uh, can we really trust you? Of course. In order to return to my own world, I'm willing to put even my life on the line. <laughs> We've got a big problem, everyone! A mecha be squadron's heading this way! What? <clears throat> and to top it off, their heads look like they've got those Kedra things stuck on them! That's it! That would be the Master Kedra that's taken over the rest! Hmm, <clears throat> so our prey's coming to us. All that's left now is to see if you can trust Ashura. I'm begging you, Koji Kabuto. Please, <clears throat> allow me to fulfill my mission. We... So. Am I finally going to get to have to do something again? Yeah. <clears throat> We've confirmed that all of the Mechabe squadrons have had Kedra stuck to them. Well, since we're all looped together here, it looks like it'll be even 
Since they're all lumped together, it'll be even easier for us to hunt the one we need. All units, scramble! We can't afford to die here. Prepare your 20 units. All right. Let's go with definitive units first. Muzzinger is probably unemployed. You have multiple choices to make. Colin's pretty low level, I'd take her out. What do you mean by that? Leave her in. Yeah. Uh, Leave her deployed. I mean, the Aquarian's pretty over leveled. It's kind of painful to do that, but yes. You also have the Gurn Logan, the Brasta, and the Gunleon as things you want to deploy. I'd take out Tetsujin. Yeah. You don't need that many extra healers. And now the tough question, do I put in the Gurren Logan or someone with Bless? Do you have the Gunleon? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's your choice. C2 or the Gurren Logan? Actually, it's Shuttle or Gurren Logan. Yeah, C2's probably better overall, but... Now, C2 actually recovers SP. Eh, Gurren Logan. Let's just go for it. You don't need the extra money anyway. Got a million money anyway. Not a ton of up. Mm hmm. Everything at the Probably moment is down be. to the right. But yes, we get to actually use the gun Leon here more than once. Hey, okay, Setsuko was allowed twice. <laughs> No, I mean, in its debut stage. Ah. You only were able to get off a single attack. Kabuto Koji! <clears throat> Ashura. I still have a debt to pay if you for my grand for your killing my grandfather. I can't forgive you. But I have to go back to my original world. Until that happens, I'll call a temporary truce. Thank you. You have my thanks, Sexus. You need to beat that Abdra's U6! That should have the Master Kedra on it! Alright. Wait a minute, Koji! There's another troop other than the Mecha Beast showing up. Oh. Yep. Now there's nothing left. Ooh. This Farger? So this time it's that Wayne guy? You're able to remember the full name of the Knight of Knights, but it looks like you've completely forgot- halfway forgotten me. That's just the kind of guy you are. Oh well. <clears throat> After all, I came here in order to fill you full of holes. Let's see. And I'll be sure to leave my name on your grave as the one who killed you. That guy seems kind of crazy. Take him out, darling! <clears throat> For someone with a bad person like that, just, go look, just take him out with a single punch and a BOOM! Please be careful hand. That guy's one of the top knights of Islam. <clears throat> so, huh, so you deliberately passed across two benches to come beat us down. <clears throat> I guess he's fit to be, be the underling of that crazy prince. <laughs> that guy. Something's weird with him. Has he lost the will to fight? You can't understand my feelings. You can't even try. I don't have any clue what he's saying. Be sure to keep control of yourself, Crow. If you wind up getting absorbed by your spear gun, it'll be just like what happened with Gerard. If you say that, there's no way I can deal with something like that in the middle of fights. If that's the case, at least don't use your spigots. Those directly tap into the power of your spear. So I'm gonna have to fight stuff this terrifying without my trump card. 
Oh well, I'll try what I can. Being able to make the best of a bad situation is just my style. After all, for someone like me who let Esther die like that, I have to at least pay this much. We are the Kedra, the soldiers of the Mycenaeans. <clears throat> we received training to destroy all other cultures and become perfect combat machines. Destroy everything. 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 You're spouting some crazy nonsense over there, monster. But don't think I'll allow you to go rampage as you like. Save yourself, you monsters! I'll take you all out alongside Sexus! So, Islam wants to fight the Mecha Beasts as well? Wait a minute. It's perfectly fine for this to be a three way fight, but if they want to take you out that Kedra, we'll lose our way of getting home. All units, take out both Islam and the Kedra! But at the very least, we can't let that after you six get taken out by them! Our name is the Kedra. We exist to destroy. We all who are not our own. Silence, you monsters! <clears throat> Don't think you have the right to be cleaned up by us. Let's go, Kedra! It's Slum! We'll fight here and get back to our own world! <clears throat> so. Destroy the Abdra U6 to win. Don't let Koji die. Don't let Valship die. Don't let Slum destroy the Abdra U6. Uh. <clears throat> So, a star point. Within three turns, destroy all of its Islam and all the other Kadra, and finally destroy the Abdra U6. In addition, don't let any of them strike down the others. So don't let Islam take out... That sounds easy. Yeah. Don't let Islam take out any Kadra, and don't let any of the Kadra take out any of Islam. That sounds about as fair as, well... That's fair it's not fair in the slightest. No, it does not. You think they care? Ha ha ha. <clears throat> oh, right there. What are you looking for? Something actually. Oh, sword cut. Yes. Cut down. That's what occurred. Well then, Lucia only needs one kill. Lucia only needs one kill. Yeah, that's probably a pretty good one to get rid of. And now, Lucia's an ace, so that's another zero point down. Where it will be. At 150 will, a miracle will occur. What that means in gameplay terms is every turn when he's at 150 will or above, he'll cast a random spirit command on himself at the start of the turn. Yes, it is completely random. Even ones he can't normally use. It can be absolutely anything. It's like wild magic. Spin the wheel and see what you get. Hopefully not a potted plant. Hopefully not. But such is life. Surprised you didn't get swapped to the gutter too there. Boomerang spanner. Alright, don't you lose, Gun Leon. This is possibly my favorite OG unit. It's so ridiculous. I don't know if it's my favorite OG unit, but I do love. Just the idea of it. The boomer spanner, but it's spanner chucks, really. I'm sure they were originally designed to be thrown. Well, especially since he does have a throwing wrench as his weakest attack. Flash edge. Sure, I don't know if I've actually... You've done it at least a couple of times. Is it the boomerangs? Yes, this is the boomerangs. <clears throat> they look very oddly colored to me like that. They look more purple than they should be. Or than I think they should be.
Yes, because they're just a purple color I don't usually associate with beam sabers. Beam sabers are pink, not purple. At least that's what I think. In other unrelated news here, we are coming up soon to the point here where we're going to have to decide what we want to do with Crow. At some point next week, we're going to get his upgrade. And so we'll be counting on everyone to go ahead and tell us what you think Crow should be. Do we want to upgrade him to the Brasta Type B, the ranged real robot? Or should he be the Brasta Type R, Melee Super? They really did. Yes, you do not have access to your spigots. <laughs> I'm actually kind of disappointed. What, you can't activate the spigot and go berserk? Yeah, you know... Cessna is now a Gundam. Wow, two aces <laughs> this turn. Two aces this turn! <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, so just like last time... <coughs> Sassana's ace bonus is plus 50% damage against Gundam types or uh, solar furnace units. It's a robot army. <laughs> Not showing them off? Not this time. I'm gonna get all of you in. Command or range. Ah, and they're at the very bottom. Alright. Super Robot Army. An entire army of super robots, and they still aren't that powerful. Well, a lot of them look the same, so they must be <coughs> mass production types. But even so, they're still super robots. That one just looks like a gunman. Yeah, it does. It looks goofy enough to be a gun, but... Gunman. Not that anyone uses those anymore. Wait a minute. Okay, instinct. What did you think he had? I thought for a moment he'd picked up hot blood. Nah, he never gets hot blood. Because he is the coolest blooded person of the getter pilots. Not that saying much. Yeah. But someone has to be the rational one. Even amongst getter pilots. Realm is the hot-blooded one. He's the rational one. And the third pilot exists. Mm-hmm. The third pilot is always there. Somewhere. Ah, uh, such a good unit. You start coming down... Chain gun slashing. Sure. Keep going, King Gainer. Eh, poor King Gainer. The more I look at King Gainer, the King Gainer, the less I understand about it. I believe it's biological. I could be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure I read that it's a biological mech. It could be. Because, sadly, I have not seen too much of it. Saw a chunk. Let's take this down. And, I mean, the way it's designed is kind of like a <coughs> LFO from Erica 7, where it's a base unit with a um, co <laughs> coating slash armor over it. But I don't know. No. <clears throat> I certainly do not want to do that. You got far more than just Colin left. I do have your door size, don't I? No, you do not. Oh, I don't. I've gotten that. <clears throat> you have the die guard, you have the boss borrow. <clears throat> Poor boss. And how can you forget the turn A? Quite easily, in fact. I was going to say, it would seem quite easily is the answer. <laughs> I'm just remembering things that the, uh... The time that G-Reco takes place in. 
The regular century? Yes. This takes place a thousand years after the correct century. Everyone stares at Yoshiki Tomino during this press conference. Including all the people next to him. He had not told anyone where when it took place. He had okay. not gotten permission to have this when it takes place. Okay. I will hand this over to you and disappear for hopefully but a minute. He's a really great scam artist. Sure, let's see what you can do. Knock off Daisetsu Sonoroshi? Yeah, that seems like a knockoff budget Daisetsu Sonoroshi. I see a maneuver. Of all the units you could take over, you get that one. be enough to kill one of these. Probably not, but there's a chance. That would be a just barely now. At least it's triple digits. You're already well appraised. But I've got to turn them, so I'll go and let you do that. actually managed to miss a super robot with that. I'm not sure if that's testament to how bad that attack is, or how good these pilots are. This attack. No, not this one. I haven't actually seen this one. 
they have one- this unit has one attack that's literally just dropping bombs on the enemy. It managed to miss the Soul Gravian. There we go. Sensei, not working. He just knocked it off. <laughs> These headphones are not the greatest. There we go, back online. Now it's not. <laughs> I don't know why, especially because they haven't been used much. My well-worn ones are actually better. <laughs> hmm. Oh well. Oh, there probably goes the SR point. Yep, yep. there goes the SR point. Ah, this is the long guy to take out the kidder for us! If we're able to make use of this situation, we can easily win! That you can, but... The EXP... I don't care about the EXP. The lost EXP from that. <coughs> from the them taking each other out. Don't worry, I failed this stage's SR point as well. Oh, you should have turned that one on. What was that? That was his nail gun attack, which you almost never see. Let me guess, because it requires not moving? Yes. Nope. Now let's just go for this. Sure, alright. Go gun man, show off your nail gun! So after all, what's better than a nail gun as a weapon? Almost nail any guns regular are dangerous. Gun? But I don't think that even, you know, a mech-sized nail gun would be able to shape, shoot hundreds of meters to hit your enemy. Ah, oh, to the gun land, something like that's nothing more than a scratch! Peter special! Throw a giant chunk of iron and then... Twin nail, nail gun it. pistols and nail it to the wall. Impressive. Mm hmm. That's the gun Leon for you. It's. It's an impressive mech. <clears throat> Pulse Saber Dream. It's just such a name. Yep. Come to think of it, I really need to teach you at least katakana here at some point. You say that frequently. <laughs> Next week I'll try to actually get a start on that. Good luck. I mean, it's not that hard. <laughs> it's only something like 50 characters to learn. So, I mean, it's not, you know... Super easy, but it's not hard. I mean, I learned basic French. I should be able to deal with that. Probably. Oh. What was cast? Awakening. Act again. Ooh. <clears throat> nice. Up so you can down. get zero <coughs> wherever you need. Let's go mm. up. Up and to the left. Up and to the left. <clears throat> because remember, you have a problem. That I have to take him down as well. No, it's just that Gerard is starting to move towards, um... Oh, I see. So he is. <laughs> yeah. And the stage doesn't end when you kill Gerard, so... No, not Gerard. Wayne. Wayne, right. Gerard is the Knight of Nice. This guy is Wayne. You don't have your most... Oh my god. What? Levels. Yeah. Because it can't do much. There's a reason I always avoid using the Ptolemaeus whenever possible. But the Ptolemaeus was so good in the previous one. <laughs> yeah, it'll get Transam eventually here. And it still has its most important feature. The shield? It's ace bonus. Because who's going to ace it? They had to make the ace bonus really good. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to think here. Oh, that was the 12th of Dodonam. 
So, I mean, what's better than an ace bonus that absolutely just flat out doubles your command aura? Its ability. Not much. Giant wrench! For everyone directly next to you, that's plus 25, plus 50 accuracy and evasion. Because isn't giant wrench an awesome attack? And then pile driver. Will this kill? I'll turn you into scrap! No, it did not. <laughs> but it did do a lot of damage. It did about half of what I needed to. That's the gunly on self looking. Perfect. Okay. I used wall. Hmm. Currently, it's using beam drive unit. That's not. I want to give the kill. Give the kill to someone else. Disappear from this world. The nice bit I was referring to was the hit chance it has. Yes. Because remember, Shinkro it's big is hyper and the Well, for one thing, you've up fully upgraded it, and for another thing, it's size S. That's at least size L, if not 2L. Just L. Then again, I don't think there are many 3L things in this one. That's really only in C3, 2. I know of at least one thing that is definitely size 3L that I can remember, and that's um, Schnazel's palace ship. Because Prince Schnazel has a palace battleship. Is that a really stupid sounding thing? Yeah! But it's what he's got. We've got wall there. And just hammer on the sapphire. the sapphire door. Because they're all named after gemstone. Mm hmm. Or at least precious stone of some kind. Even though Pearl is questionable. I think mo a lot of people consider it to be a gemstone. Is a pearl technically a stone or not? It's a mineral, I believe. It's formed from accumulated sediment wrapped around an impurity in a pearl in an oyster. So I mean if sandstone is stone, then sure, I guess it's stone. And it is gem-like, at least. <clears throat> but it still doesn't seem quite right for it to be a gemstone. But yeah, sapphire... Emerald. Diamond. His twin maces there are named Romulus and Remus. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? Well, there are plenty of things you could say about that. <clears throat> Focus, instinct, or take the hit. You know <clears throat> what? Let's trust in Chirico. I could see you twitch there. <laughs> yep. I'm just really hoping it takes him to, like, 3 HP. 3 would be a bit low. You know what I mean. Yeah. <clears throat> Under 600. Yeah, that would be, you know... Ideal. Just... You, hit, you hit them back! That's the way I live. Well, he dodged anyway. Okay, Jericho. <clears throat> eh, screw it.
so many attacks I wish I had. On him? Yes. Well, he'll get a lot more once we get the Razor in a few stages' time. I was going to say, primarily the attacks that I'm thinking of are, of course, uh... The Razor Sword? Razor Sword. Razor Sword map attack. Yes, this is 26. We get that on chapter 29. Well done, Crow. Well done, Camille. But be careful about running out of ACP Fies. Since that's his strongest attack right now. Mm -hmm. Because Crow is uh, not in great shape. How's Bosboro doing, by the way? Bosboro can use its strongest move. I just wish more units had map attacks, really. Just go for it. Alright. Call in the Krogan A5! <clears throat> it's time for everyone else to show up! And in they come. The members of gathered here are <clears throat> He needs to drink more. He did that entirely Kabuki style. Mm. Introducing all of them and what their weapons are. Next time I'll try and explain it, but yeah. They have someone with a, um... They have a cyborg with super LZ arms. A gunman with super LZ pistols. A swordsman with a super LZ blade. A crazy explosives expert. <clears throat> And someone who's got threads that are probably made out of Super LOZ. Because why not? If we're going this far, we may as well go, well go as crazy as we can. The idea of that, if you know what Super LOZ is. Yep. At least sounds so Mossinger Impact version Super LOZ. Sounds so amazing. <clears throat> sounds like a bad infomercial. In all honesty, that just made me think, you know, The World Ends With You really missed out <coughs> on not having an equipment set known as the Dead God's Threads. Since yeah. you go to the Dead God's Pad, because that's what they called <coughs> the Conductor's Room. So, I mean, really, if you're going to have the Dead God's Pad, why not the Dead God's Threads? And for those of you who don't get the joke, well, it will be explained eventually here. But yes. <clears throat> Why does it look like a pharaoh, I wonder? I mean, it's supposed to be from roughly around Greece, so... Yes. You've just kept on repeating the same thing. You are a Messinian soldier and you will destroy everything. You don't need to keep repeating. Stop that. <clears throat> Full power or half power? Just in case anything goes wrong. He has a lot of SP. Mm-hmm. 
Sí. <coughs> Spiral Warrior. Before you can engulf this galaxy in battles, we shall eliminate you. You're saying exactly the same things as Lord Genome. Do you think I'll chase you from hearing someone like you spout nonsense at me like that? There's no way I'd listen to what a monster has to say. Hello, Paloma. Quick show off for the camera. Gear drill break full power. Sadly, that is not an option. But the Giga Drill Break is always good. Always one of the stronger attacks. And it's definitely one of the strongest we have now. At least until we get Stoner Sunshine. Stoner Sunshine and. Uh, 100 consecutive rocket punches. The strongest attack the Muzzinger gets. Why stop at one rocket punch when you can have 100? I mean, really. We shall destroy all, all cults, all civilizations other than the Mycenaeans. Ah, shut it! Let's see, something like you spouting nonsense like that wouldn't exist in any world. People like you who refuse to accept other, other ways of life just causing, just cause further wars. If that's the case, I'll take you out now. No damage. Not next to no. no. Little damage. After all, it isn't like it's got a barrier. Wrong one. But yeah, focus is fine. <clears throat> wow. Gitter beam. <clears throat> You'll probably have a special dialogue here too, won't you? Yeah, but hit chance. Yeah. <clears throat> With focus. The gutter rays are a power that will destroy the universe. We will eliminate it. This guy knows about the gutter? <laughs> As if we just pay attention to what some monster's saying. Let's get going, go! <sighs> That's something. Check the Mega Star. Oh, yes, that is what I was going to do. Yeah, plus 70 to hit. That would explain it. All it can do is tackle, but... Plus 70. Mm-hmm. Ooh, boy. Yep. I don't doubt many other people have a special <coughs> bit of dialogue. There's one other person who definitely has a special bit of dialogue, but we're not going to get it. The tower? No. Who? Jericho. With the whole soldiers thing? No, with the fact that he isn't human. Oh, big out. It could still do something useful. Not really, but... There's a dimensional beast right there by Baldios. I noticed, which is why I cancelled my warp. Pulse saber dringing. <laughs> Show off your power, Baldios! <laughs> the warrior of space, Baldios. Warp out. And act again. Pretty good overall. No, it's just the battleships. Targeting the gutter again. <clears throat> yeah, gutter should be fine. See, it's holding together okay. <laughs> it's holding together. Mm hmm. That's all that can be said about it.
Beam rifle, maximum output. <clears throat> They're making the turn A angry. Raging Smash versus ACP Fives. Should be able to survive one. To think that you'd go out of your way to target us. You really are passionate about your job, aren't you? <clears throat> That's what I should be saying. I don't know what sort of methods you used to get here, but you won't be forgiven for this. I... I'll put my price and arc saber on the line and take you down! Yes, because he is not happy that we are here. Since I believe we are in Insalam here. And that's why everything's so screwed up. I've at least got confidence in my ability to run away. I was expecting it to get hit there. So that mm -hmm. was a 68% chance. But Crow's too good. Poor, poor Crow. If only he had his spigots. But that would probably... That would cause even more problems. He just needs the CDS. Mm -hmm. And then he'd be perfectly fine. Yep. Um, Soul? Soul. Cool. Not that he can use it. <coughs> Not that he can get in range of anything this turn. Strip. Final God Mars. <laughs> Sadly, remember Wayne has his own theme. Yeah, I, we're not going to be doing another stage today. I feel certain. It's 3.30, so... And there's still another path of stage. Not necessarily. There's still another part of stage, at least. Because Nekip Zara. <clears throat> you might get him post-stage. How much does Final Gun Mars deal here? <laughs> Remember, he's got prevalence such. Nice. <coughs> Still got one more guy, remember? Yeah. I was going to say he might have the ignore defensive skills thing. No, he doesn't. Pretty sure not yet. Nope. But he has got effort and guts. That's all post movement. Okay. Shin can ignore defensive skills. As I thought he could. As if something like that would work on him. Your attempts at prevailing shall not work. Wow. I guess it's because size L. It's not as if the. What's recalls it is a size. It's not as if the destiny is a size S, but still. Alright. Chew through all of your energy here. <laughs> Should be good enough. Or not. No, just barely not. Just, just get crow. <laughs> He's the only one who needs kills over there. <clears throat> Alright, crow. Get the finish. <clears throat> if you want to resent me, go ahead and do it. So combat pattern flies. Open your eyes for the next fives. Or so I've heard. I've never actually seen Kamen Rider fives. And now... Goodbye, Wayne. This should be it for you. 
for now. I lost. Fies in its belt ceiling? No, no, talking about the ending line. The next episode line. Ah, open your eyes for the next Fies. DM unit acquired. Nice. Damn it. Damn it! You. <clears throat> I came out here and didn't accomplish anything. I've lost yet again. I. I can't forgive myself. What was with that guy? It appears as if he came him here for this fight with his own result of pride. Wayne Ribtel. That guy. One of those two is. That one's weak. There we go, Crow. So all that you should have left is that and one dimensional beast. Yep, yep. So crush that dimensional beast with whoever you think is most deserving or in need of kills. No, he cannot accelerate. Can at least do that. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there's somewhere I could post that would probably draw people in, but... The problem is, of course, finding other spots where we could try and attract more people. <laughs> it would be absolutely wonderful if we could, but... The small problem with trying to promote things on Reddit. Yes, and I don't really know anywhere else we could try and <laughs> find people. After all, I mean, there aren't exactly a ton of people who uh, even know about this series here in America, since it's... There is one place that I considered, but I haven't actually really considered. Because it sounds really stupid whenever I think about it. Game facts. Uh, yeah, that the most sound... recent Super Robot Wars Game Facts page. I mean, theoretically that could be a way, but yeah, it would be pretty weird to do. You see why, whilst I've considered the idea, I've not actually done it. Yeah. I mean, it is an option. But I don't know. Things like that, I've left that up to you, mainly. If only we had the Gunleon Magna available. But that's Z32 unique. <laughs> no, no. Magna mode is its sphere active mode. Oh. Yeah, I might actually try and do it here. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, it'd at least be worth a shot trying to get some more reuse. That would be nice. Contemplating who to utilize. Yeah, who I'd be okay with getting the kill. You know what, I'm gonna get the kill to you. Leave it to the Mazinger? Nope. Hi, hi kitty, um... You're going to just hide away back there? What is... Uh, that's the ignore size and defensive skills. Perfect. Exactly what I was looking Hello, for. Hello, kitten. Come along. Show yourself on camera for a bit. Hi, Paloma. Good Paloma. Alright, I'm pretty sure this should kill. Super happy sword. With ignore defensive. <laughs> yeah. I would think it should. Ow. Your, your claw is being very sharp there, kitty. Ah, uh, yes, as a small side note, we tried just on our own checking out the original alpha. Didn't work great. Yes, um, I tried looking into doing alpha as something we could do later on, but there's kind of a problem with it. A major problem being that the electronic dictionary I've been using on my phone here for, you know, Google Translate quickly, look up words, 
It does not recognize the font of the original alpha as being actual kanji because they're too blocky and pixelated. Alpha 2 and 3 should work since they're on the PS2, and Z works fine. Yes, but the original alpha, it's very odd. Yeah, I have heard people doing that. 24,000 money. Unfair About what I was hoping for. <clears throat> Two levels on everyone. Let's see. Our name is Kedra. We are not permitted to fall. If we're leaving some monster, isn't it? But it stopped moving. Ashura! Now is the time! And now. Let's go! Special move. Special one-time-only support attack. Mm -hmm. I have not seen this, as I haven't watched much of Muzzing or the Impact, but I'd like to believe that Baron Shur is actually riding the Rocket Fist there to get close to it. I mean, it would make sense, wouldn't it? And now... Baron Ashura, finishing it off on their own. I may take some incredible strength to be able to kick a robot like that. That's a lot of kicks. <clears throat> so the thing is, you may or may not have noticed, but that's actually just reusing a flipped animation from the original Z2. I have actually where, noticed. That's where Yes, where they Banishura did over. that to the Mazinger on the first time they met. Ketara! I am the priestess of the Mycene! My sinans. So hold! I am their head priest, Tristan! Open the gate of dimensions! For the sake of our return! For the sake of my Sinea! <coughs> All is for the sake of my Sinea. You did it, Ashura? Success! The magical gate is about to open! All units, return to the tower! Now, Ketara! Now is the time to open that door! Gah! What's wrong, Ashura? No! The damage to the Ketara was far stronger than we had anticipated! <clears throat> the dimensional gate will open, but its destination point is unknown! What? Then we... We're gonna get flunked somewhere else again? Damn it! Is there anything we can do? Song. It's Ranka's song? Okay, I'll give that a try. Why could we hear Ranka's song all the way out here? What? I know it. I know this song! Because of course you know the song. And it's now. Ancient. Song changed? This is. Try this again. is Fire Bomber's Try Again! This energy that transcends dimensions is. with this. We can return! This is... We're back to Atami! We... We really made it back. <laughs> Looks like everything worked out in the end. I have to thank you for that, Ashura. Alto! Alto! Cheryl, Ranka, and the song? We were guided back here by Nicky Basara's singing. Back to the hangar. Your Neki Basara. What? It's thanks to your song that we were able to make it back. Thanks for that. I just noticed they share an eye color. Uh, you don't get it either, do you? What? The one who was able to make their song reach you wasn't me. It was Ranka. It really is like Basara said. Thanks, Ranka. I... All I can really do is sing. And yet again, I've been saved by your songs. No. After all, you've been the one saving me this whole time. 
Is it fine not to go over there, Cheryl? After all, you were praying that you'd be safe the whole time. Thanks, Melaine. But after all, I wasn't singing there. After all, I don't think I can't have the right to go meet him now. Cheryl... I've decided. What have you decided? I've got a bad feeling about this. <clears throat> Grace, I'm gonna go with these guys. These guys. Are are you talking about Zexus? What are you saying, Sarah? Uh, you remember Fire Bomber and the Twinkle Project, right? <clears throat> yeah, you just do it. I'm gonna be going off. No, no, please, God, no. <laughs> We won't let you just cough on your own. Do not let Gamblin <clears throat> sing. <clears throat> Are you going to try to play to abandon us again like you did at our final concert? Final concert? What's that? <laughs> <clears throat> ah, that's you as always. <clears throat> I mean, it's better than when you're just hanging around in a slump. Hump. But you're going to cause a lot of trouble here. Ah, well, as long as I've got this, there's no problems. Yeah, we've got plenty of problems. The only reason we're firebombers is because all of us are here, right? Then why don't you come with me? Huh? <clears throat> you felt it too. They're burning souls. <clears throat> if I'm along with them, I'll be able to have the greatest jam session. Uh, but that the Twinkle Project's gonna... They'll be fine even if I'm not there. After all, they've got Ranka. You... I thought you didn't accept her songs. At that time. But today was different. <clears throat> it's a nice song full of heart. Alright, Mr. Basara. I'll accept your leaving the project. Is that really okay? Don't you guys also know that it's pointless to try and stop him? Well, that is right. <clears throat> Zexus, I'll ask as well. Please take Firebomber with you. <laughs> his singing across the battle will feel has created the greatest legend. And if there's time in his schedule, please have him help out with the project too. <laughs> Understood. If we have time, we'll come back and lend a hand. Captain Gamlin, I entrust the management of them to you. Even if I didn't say that, I have a feeling you'd protect Melaine, though. Y yes, uh, I, Captain Gamlin Kisaragi? Kisaki. Gamlin Kisaki, yeah. promise with, to protect Firebomb with everything I have. I think it's <laughs> Kisaki, but... Was it that she was touched by Nekibasara's songs? Or was it for the sake of Sao Tomei Alto? But the Little Queen's Awakening has continued even further. Kizaki. Kizaki. And at the same time... At the same time, I've discovered that it's completely impossible to try and control Neki Basara. <laughs> In that case, the best thing to do would be to allow him to move freely and, and focus on dealing with the Vajra. Our plans shall move into the next step. Until that point, sing as you like, Neki Basara. Congratulations, you learned the lesson everyone learns within five minutes of meeting him. <clears throat> Back to Tommy. Can you still not forgive me? Ah, that's fine. After all, for someone like you who's only half a man... You can even accept the truth you saw when dealing with the Kedra. What? Let's see. When I saw you fighting up close this time, I was able to tell that for certain. Uh, uh, Kabuto? Boss, I'll be protecting Itami to you in the Kurogane 5. I don't really care, but... Someday I'll definitely come back here to Atami. Once I become a tough class warrior, I'll make sure you accept me! If it's Spirit alone, he's got more than plenty, doesn't he? 
so long as he's able to get the actual power to back that up, there won't be anything to fear. Just wait, Koji. But when that time comes, the door may open to you yet a new hell. Uh, so, it depends. So if you want to play Z, in particular, from what I have seen... <laughs> Z is a cluster of random starting points and ending points. Yes, so for Alpha, I have no clue. I only went through the first chapter or so of Alpha. But for Z, in particular, you do need to have at least tried reading wiki descriptions or whatever of the series. It starts... About halfway through After War Gundam X, it starts after the end of Zabungle. It starts at like episode 5 to 10 of Zeta Gundam, the very start of Sea Destiny. Destiny, the very start of King Gainer, um, the very start of Super Heavy God Gravian. Much to your chagrin. In the very start stage. of Zambot 3. Um, and that's as far as I can say for certain, but... You don't need to know anything about Dietarn for once. Shock. But yes, so for Z at least, um, you do need to have at least a degree of familiarity with the series, or you will have no clue what the hell is going on with the plot of them. Well, at our current going rate, we'll probably get to Z in about three months. At least a while. We'll see. After all, when we finish Z2 here, um... We'll probably put up a poll on what people would like us to do. Z1 or Z3. I had actually three thoughts in mind. Either we could go on to Z3-1, and then from the end of that as everyone's sealed away in the time prison, go back to Z and see how it all started. Go back to the original Z. Or come back here to Z2 and take the other ending route we didn't see. That would be fair enough. Yeah. Well, part of the problem is finding some of those series. The big problem with, of course, these is... There are so few of these translated. I would love to get a large enough following that we get shut down. Because it would mean they are actually bringing... There's a chance of them seeing that there's interest in bringing it over. That would be a wonderful thing. But then again, we aren't, you know... Doing We're not popular right now. I was going to say, it's not illegal to do something like this. But yes. <clears throat> it's... It's a series. Anyways... Back to the palace in Salam. Queen Riptel. To think that you would move the Sapphire Dome without his highness's permission. These actions are not befitting a high knight. See? If you're not going to fight for the sake of our homeland, then what the hell is an arc saber supposed to be? What you're saying is way too strange. My mentor fought until the very end for his homeland. See. He went so far as licking the boots of the bastard who destroyed our kingdom, all in order to send information back to us. So what the hell are we then? We just have to l listen to what that dandy guy and that old lady say. Wayne. You need to respect his highness more. If you do not, then at that time I shall face you head-on as the Knight of Knights. <laughs> How foolish. To think that the few remaining High Knights would be fighting each other here. You must become stronger, Wayne. Sir. It is only those with an overwhelming power that can overcome anything that can decide it all. I hope that someday you will obtain that. Let's see. I'd imagine this is something like, after a lesson you're giving me... something. With V, X, and T... From my knowledge of V, X, and T... V and T are good. X is considered not good. And they are... most similar to the Z2 and Z3. Really, Z2 and Z2.2. Yes, the latest games have been translated. Everyone seems to really like V and T, 
But X is not necessarily recommended because... Story. Yeah, it's an isekai, and it takes place after the end of pretty much every series, so... Yet somehow Char's live. Yes. But yeah. Hello, kitty. Hi, friend. <laughs> so after being so harsh on me, now you're going all soft. This isn't like you. You can't understand it, hum. The meaning of my words... I don't even want to try. After all, I never wanted to be the Knight of Knights or anything. Sharp cat. <clears throat> Special hanger. So I've come here yet again. How mysterious. Whenever I stand near you, my heart feels at ease. <clears throat> Could be that we're similar, the two of us. Hi, Esther. <clears throat> a dimensional beast which is forced to fight without its original host's will. Hey, you there. For what purpose should I fight? Poor guy. So. Through 52, we might be able to squeak in one more stage. But first, <clears throat> quickly Two highly important characters. Well, one we have character. Neki Basara. He has Focus, Accelerate, Instinct, and Will Up. Prevail level 7, Will Up, See Through, and SP Recovery. That last one is very important. And his Valkyrie. Shield equipped, capable of transforming. S in sky, S in space, C on land and water. Well, yeah, because that's... So, this is the reason that Kibisar is important. He cannot deal damage to anyone other than Dimensional Beasts and Vajra. And he can only deal damage to Dimensional Beasts. Yes. Vajra is basically just instantly kills. So, he is, however, a super powerful buffer. <clears throat> he has a number of songs, which chew through song energy, especially resource of his, and have effects. Planet Dance. Heals. Totsugeki Love Heart. Boosts will. My friends recovers SP and try again increases stats. Also, he has map versions of all of them. For any of these, it's a five eyed cone. Yes, that's just for plant heads and Totsugeki Love Heart. My friends has a two point two radius out from him. Ack. Also, it's not usable post movement. They were in the... They are in Z3. And then try again is just one adjacent. It's because of how broken they are. Also, when he transforms, he has much better maneuver abilities there. Has access to a pinpoint barrier. Oh, there we go. My friend is now map post-movement. Those ones are just post-movement only in. Yes. When he switches Batroid. to Batroid mode... Um, he loses post-movement on everything but my friends and try again map attacks, which gain it. But everything's range goes up by a lot. I was looking at Nakib Sar's voice actor here. Mm hmm. Rather than his singer. His voice actor has a few notable roles. Mm hmm. Kusha Lane from Fates. Okay. Among others. And a character from Persona 3. Hmm. And then we have Gimlin Kizaki. For level 5, dash, hidden away. If you ever saw him, this guy. Oh, that guy. Skinny fake Jesus guy. Yeah. Since that was what he was trying to be. So, Gatling Gun Pod, Micro Missiles, All Out Attack, swaps to Internal Beam Gun, Gatling Gun Pod, Micro Missile, Pinpoint Barrier Punch. Ah, so he gets it. So, new units. Fun. Also, we have one more DM unit for you to give someone. Basar is a good choice. Because remember, Sarah cannot hit anyone, but people will sure as hell still try and target him. He could use the upgrades. Yeah, sure. Alright. Since zero versus zero, I hope I have all the Black Knights. Uh, no, I think it's just 
zero and C2 at the start. Wow, he's the cheapest full upgrade I've seen. Well, yeah, Just to he's... truly full I upgrade him. Because you can't buff his songs. But I would not recommend that. Let's see, see energy is pointless to him, really. So the next chapter here is important, as it is yet another chance at getting zero points. Do we really need them? No. No, in fact, but we may as well try. We can, however, definitely determine uh, whether we need them or not in this next chapter. No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know why, right? You don't. You may want... You probably don't want to give him that, but you might. I mean, what else would I give him? SP up? <laughs> will up? Well, will up wouldn't be Actually, bad. will up would be okay. I mean, I typically wound up just uh, boosting his will with his spirit command, but... I mean, plus 10 starting well means you could sing any song. I think you I'll could sing both. the most important ones. Because this is an okay thing to have. Yeah. And after that, just pour everything into his songs. Because rather than having uh, melee or shooting, he has Song Soul. That's appropriate. Mm hmm. I will probably wind up using Gamlin Kizaki at least once. The only thing that chews through energy is his, um... Pinpoint barrier punch. As expected. Yeah, I think we've done enough here for now. We can take care of all the rest of that later. There is one thing that does need to be done now. This desperately needs to be done quickly. Sure. So if you're serious, do the bottom two. Aquarian yeah. pilots. Gemlin, Sara, Garrett. Sure, why not? Yes, I am pointedly putting him in money. Okay. Sure, all of you would get a level. Yeah. Now just save. How terribly are we doing on SR points? Ooh, that's not great. <laughs> 14 of 26. <laughs> Meh. Luckily in this game, it's not important to have SR points. Easy mode is not a thing, I believe. So, we'll take over for one extra stage here, just cause, why not? Time for important things to happen. Ptolemaeus 2. Personal room. <clears throat> So how is it, Chief? Let's see. Well, thanks to Zero's Druid system, I've been able to make... Thanks to the data we gathered with Zero's Druid system, I was able to understand most of what happened when Esther was transformed into a dimensional beast. Let's see. <clears throat> Through bending our beloved idiot's arm a little bit, I was even able to get some... One thing out of the Edic Research Lab. And the results were... Let's see. <clears throat> There's nothing I can say about it, unfortunately. Dimensional beasts are dimensional beasts. It may have a unique color, or, but there's nothing I can say other than Esther has become a dominant class dimensional beast. But she responded to Zero's words. Isn't certain that she's completely become a dimensional beast Stop it, Crow. It's pointless to try and talk about that anymore. What? Hester's a dimensional beast. That's all I can say here. Understood. Everything other than this is at a theoretical level, huh? Leave it to me, Crow. I'll make sure to do everything I can. After all, I'm far more worried about you right now. If it's about my debt, I'll be sure to pay it back. Although I don't know how long it'll take. Please, at the very least, 
in front of me quit acting so tough. I know what's been happening with your sphere. That's the one thing I don't want to st think about. Uh, things are going to get far tougher for me, for me from here on out without the VX system. I guess so. But I'm wor but I'm working at a fever pitch here in order to try and counteract that. In order to try and help you even a little bit more. You really are kind, aren't you, Chief? You're just hoping it goes well. After all, if you're not there, my beloved Russ will never get completed. <laughs> I figured it was something like that. To begin with, I'm going to have to go... Oh, squeeze our, our beloved idiot for information where exactly he got that VX system. Up until this point, we've been proceeding with our analysis of it. Yet, and it hasn't really mattered, but I don't think we're able to say that now. I'm counting on you, Chief. <sighs> At a time like this, you really are dependable. Huh. It sounds as if you haven't thought me of dependable until now, hmm? I didn't intend to mean it that way. Ah, oh, well, it's fine. After all, do your best however you can. Understood. Even if I say that, I can't afford or to let Esther just languish. This is all my fault. Next time we meet, I'll definitely... Back to the briefing room. And so, Gamlin Kizaki of Firebomber is going to be joining Zexus. Sara, you're the one who said you were going to come along with them. So try and be at least a little more sociable. I'm leaving that to you and Ray. So that's the legendary rock star of the Macross 7, Neki Basara? Haha, <laughs> I'm sure Captain Oz- I'm sure pretty- Old Man Ozma's pretty pissed he's not here to see this. After all, well, there's no way he'd let the chance to fight alongside his beloved fire bomber slip away. Uh -huh. If anyone was going to be coming along with Zexus, why couldn't it have been Ronka or Cheryl? But hey, isn't that Malin girl pretty cute too? Akira, Noto! Oh, you guys don't understand the greatness of our power, do you? <laughs> Nikki Basara's shouts are truly something that should shake the very heavens! You're being far too crazy, Pierre. I like those songs a lot too. I guess so. It's got a good rhythm. And when you start to move instinctually, yeah. Rather than a cute singing voice or sexy dancing, I think his shouting style is a lot better. Hmm. Hmm. You're gonna make me blush. If that's how it is, then I'll just... Then I'll do this in place of a... My greeting. Listen to my... Oh, come on. Don't be an idiot and just introduce yourself normally. Uh, we knew it would go this way. <laughs> As a result of that, I'll go ahead and introduce the rest of the members. <clears throat> you already know Neki Basara. He's in charge of the guitar and vocals. I don't think we need to introduce him. He is exactly as you see and hear. I see. Next up is the bass and vocalist. <clears throat> Melaine Freya... Melaine Freya Genus. Flair. Flair? Flair. Flair. Melaine Flair Genus. Nice to meet you all. If a star is a legendary rock star, then she's a legendary singer. And then I'm... I'm Ray... Uh... Lovelock? Lovelock? Lovelock, I believe. Lovelock? I believe it's Lovelock. I'm the keyboardist, Ray. Their names are not said that frequently. And here's our... And here's on... And on drums here is Bahida Fees. And she sp speaks precisely three times in all of Macross 7. She communicates mostly by tapping drumsticks on walls. Yeah, she doesn't seem to talk much. I've heard that she once tries to express her emotions with her drumsticks. It's almost like Esther. 
And then finally is our special supporter here. <clears throat> Captain Gemlin Kizaki, who's in charge of making sure that we all st we're all safe. I'm Captain Gemlin Kizaki. I've heard plenty about sexist activities from Gr Miss Grace O'Connor. The Ace of the Diamond Force. Gemlin Kizaki. Alright, I've got a question here. Captain Gamlin, are you going out with Elaine? Huh? Why would you say something like that? Uh, I read gossip magazines quite a lot. At the same time, I've heard the Pissara, Elaine and Gam Captain Gamlin are, tri are in a three-way relationship here. No, a love triangle. That's the word I'm looking for. How could you fail to say love triangle when it comes to Macross? So, the fact is that the Japanese word for love triangle is literally a three-cornered relationship. I mean, it is accurate. Yes. Three-cornered relationship. Triangle relationship. So, yes. They're in a love triangle. That's the word. Yeah. Always fun. An imaginary love triangle. Because Neki Basara only has room in his heart for the whales. Whoa. Oh. I thought the captain guy was a pretty cool looking guy. He was a pretty plain looking guy. He's kind of cool, huh? After all. Oh. No matter where you go, an ace class Valkyrie pilot's always a hit with the ladies. You've got Captain Roy Fokker. Uh, Hikaru Ichijo, was it? Yes. Nice, I got his name right. <clears throat> Isam Dyson. And Isam then Ark. And then. Yeah, you some some Dyson. Dyson. Yes, Isamu his name Dyson. is Dyson. And then our beloved Saotome Alto. So, uh, er, it is true that Melinda and I have dated, but er, you don't need to t deal with things like that, Gimlin. How did all you right, fail to mention right. the one that got married? Who? Max. Well, I mean. <laughs> The man who ended the war with his stupidity. Was that a love triangle, though? <laughs> Not a love triangle. <laughs> but popular with the ladies. So, eh. <clears throat> I'm just shocked that... Michelle of all people. <clears throat> all right, all right. I just thought this was a ch Means I might have had a chance. So that's what you were aiming for? <clears throat> but if you're talking about s keeping you safe, I mean, there's not that much problem since you're on the quarter, right? Uh, you're far too naive, Cape. After all, Neki Basara's main stage is the battlefield. That guy. <clears throat> he sings at people who are shooting at him? Yeah. <clears throat> it's most of what he does, actually. He is the kind of guy who makes his enemies listen to his music while piloting a Valkyrie. <clears throat> More stupid, isn't it? After all. Well... When you're listening to my songs, there's no such thing as enemies or allies. You... Ahem. <clears throat> so, Mr. Alto, I completely understand your feelings, but it's completely pointless to say it to Basara. Ah, <sighs> I'm here, here as an observer to keep a... to try and rein him in. <clears throat> but trust me, he's done enough that anyone would go crazy. I see. Well, if you say you're going to try and keep a rein on him... All right, after all. <clears throat> well, you don't need... Keep on acting like that. I mean, I... Normally I should be far older than you, but thanks... Thanks to that dimensional quake, I'm a... We're about the same age. So I'm counting on you. Uh, so am I here. Looking forward to seeing a display of some of your skills, Captain Kizaki. That Captain Gamlin guy's pretty good at dealing with people, huh? Well, if he wasn't, there's no way he'd be able to guard that Basara guy. But it is true that Basara's songs are able to have an effect against the Vajra. For what we heard from that Grace woman, Basara's, the fold waves that Basara emits while in here have some kind of effect on them. Fold waves. Of energy wave that can transcend dimensions, right? Those songs of his mind have an effect on dimensional beasts as well. If you hear my songs, your heart'll get hotter. 
If that happens, you'll know how stupid it is to fight. So, is he going to sing at Allies too? Yeah, isn't it fine? After all, well, I hear this guy singing on the battlefield, you will be way stronger. That's right, after all. When I hear his songs, it's like I can feel the universe expanding before me. You're awfully poetic there, Quattro. A heart filled with the wide universe. <clears throat> when I was patting the zero, I felt that in a twisted way. Troa, hero, where are you now? About to cause trouble for us. <clears throat> Well then, with this we'll perform a live fire test. Are both of you prepared? There are no problems here. The Masaro. It's a good machine. Hiro Yui. This may be a pointless fight, but I'd like for you to test my new machine. The Gundam Zero system will be sending us data in real time. I'm counting on you to make it work. Very well. Zero system. Thanks to that power, I was able to change my way of thought and perfect the Masarao. But at the same time, I arrived at the truth. The cruel truth that Kujo was just using me. Now, let us fight! That's good, that's good. Even though this Masaro is just a test bed unit, to think I'd get this kind of data out of it. Not yet. <clears throat> Confirm the zero system is starting to activate. It's about to begin. I. What is. My enemy? My enemy is. The one who's targeting my life. No. My enemies are the enemies of peace. Those are Melina's enemies. That is, that which would destroy this world. That is, power, malice, desire, ego, Trace Kushernada, innovators, Yulia Schoenberg. Now, what awaits ahead of that is him. Where are you going, Hiro Yui? My enemy, that is. Zero. I'll kill you. Hiro? What happened? Should I chase him? Uh, no, it's fine. After all, that gun has already fulfilled its main purpose for us. We can leave the pursuit of him to another pursuit and retrieval to a different squad. Although Cap Commander Subramo Subroff is probably going to be pissed. Uh, he just wants his new dolls to be completed, I'd imagine. But even so, I wonder what he saw in the Zero System. He said something about an enemy. Area 11, Tokyo. <clears throat> Ashford Academy. Hiro Yui. Please note, this is Lucia's bodyguard. Zero. I'll kill you. Underground hideout. Hiro Yui's appeared in the academy? Circle's being targeted by him. So that means. Hiro's targeting Lush? Brother accepted him as an ally. So why would something like this happen? He's a first-class soldier. Even Masao was having a hard time avoiding him. But where's he now? He's making use of the monitor's dead zones in order to move. Can't find where he is. Hiro Yui. Zero is dangerous. Before he can... And ruin this world. I've come here to stop him. 
Buffalo! I know! I've stopped your time. I've stopped his time. Get out of here. Jaha! You okay, Rollo? There's an explosion outside. But it was more than enough of a shockwave to snap your gyas. You... You had far too much faith in your ability to stop people's time. And so that's what uh, you approach me and use that word to set off to deal with the sensors. <clears throat> Let's see. I determined and with your usual combat patterns that you would use your gyas upon me. Since I made the first move, it was my victory. Calm down. I don't intend to kill you. But I'll destroy this base. This is bad. And the piece of information system? With this, Zero will have lost contact with this academy. You... Did you tell the government about Zero? There's no need. I'll kill him myself. Back to the bridge of the Ikaruga. Hero. Huh? Seems as if you know I would be contacting you. In that case, I won't say anything unnecessary. Tomorrow. 1500 hours. Show up at... Whatever the island is where everything went wrong for Zero. Let's see what you can say. Show up at Kinojima. Come alone. Wait a minute, Hero! Quarter and the others are worried about you! I will destroy my enemies. That is all. Hero. What the hell's with him? I've got no clue what the hell he was saying. Hero was talking about enemies. Does he mean Zero? We'll know everything once we meet him. Do you intend to go, Zero? He is a member of Zexus, after all. I can't afford to ignore him. What a blunder. The fact that he knew, of my, knew who I am was a complete mistake. I was too naive to trust him. But why? Why would he suddenly think of me as an enemy? Wait a minute, Zero. Oh, something could be completely wrong. At least have a bodyguard with you. Hero told me to come alone. <clears throat> See, in order to avoid any more pointless conflicts, I shall go alone. Zero. What a foolish man. See? If Hero truly does me, view me as an enemy, going on my own would be suicide. But if I miss, make a mistake here, Everyone at Zexus will know who I am. At the very least, I need to go confirm his will. In the worst scenario, I'll use my trump card. Chapter 27, Zero versus Zero. So as long as we clear one of the two SR points, we won't <laughs> have to deal with another one. It's time. Hero Yui. It's me. You came alone as ordered. In that case, take off your mask. Very well. Is this good enough? The only ones here are you and me. I came here to ask you, why is it that you destroyed that secret intelligence post? And why are you viewing me as an enemy? I saw the future. Future? Lelouch. You said that for Nunnally's sake you would destroy this world. That's everything I believe in. However, your, your methods will create way too many casualties. I didn't know at that time what that would mean. Hero? At the same time, though, you were a kind person. When someone like that tries to take on that sin, 
All that awaits them is destruction. What is it you're trying to say, hero? Lelouch. No. Zero. Before a tragedy that cannot be taken back occurs. I'll kill you. <laughs> Can you really do that, hero? After all, Relina has already fallen into my hands. What? Let's see. <clears throat> after you wound up... Uh, after I wound up explaining everything to you, as a special insurance, I wound up releasing a subordinate of Relina's under mine. Using a certain gias. If a came comes when you would betray me, her life would be forfeit. All while well knowing it was your fault. What meaning is there in that? What? Zero. You really are Relina's enemy. The world that you would desire, the world that you will create, and the world that she desires are surely not the same. If that's so, then taking you down here would be what she wants. Even if it costs us our lives. Even my trump card wouldn't work. I really w underestimated him. Zero. I'll kill you. Hero! What are you doing? Colin. And Wufei? Sorry, Zero. If you want to try following me. No. It's good to have him on my side. With three on one, we should be able to manage. Do not decide that. Wufei! <laughs> Tell me you! This is a good opportunity, Zero. I'll challenge you here. For what sake? In order to confirm your will. By staying against you, I'll have you prove yourself. But that's... It's impo- No use, Colin. Thero and Wufei aren't the sort of people who will listen to us. You don't need to worry, Zero. He'll die by my hand as zero. I've already shown Nora for Zexus to help. Until they can arrive, we need to hold out. All right. Fall back, hero. I don't know why you're viewing Zexus as an enemy. However, if you've been swallowed up by that Gundam, I'll take you out as well. Do as you like. So. Destroy the Gundam Wing Zero, or destroy the Gundam Ultron. So, zero points. We get one point for killing Wufei, and we get two for taking... I could just kill Wufei, and that's all that's really necessary. I actually don't even need to do this. We've got four or five SR points, and there's one coming up. Not SR points, but... You know what I mean. We're gonna do that, I would recommend. Oh, wow. Yeah. The Shinkro is broken. Zero. All that awaits you is despair. I don't know what you, what sort of future you've seen. If you're getting my way, you are my enemy! And I swore... And I swore I'll continue on, no matter what awaits me! I told you, I feel like at this point, the barrier cost zero may have been unnecessary. You've been we'll hit see. precisely twice. But with support defense. There's no need to worry about that. Auto lock on. Eliminate the target. Wing, wing zero, or wing zero custom. I like the wing zero custom because I like the feathers. Gotta agree. I think my favorite is probably the proto zero, though. Which you've likely never seen. I've probably seen it once or twice, but not much. It's the version <laughs> KA slight redesign. It's an endless waltz. 0% mm. hit chance. 10% hit chance from Wufei. Show me, Zero. Your resolve! Wufei. 
you intend to find the truth through battle? Battle is where people reveal their true selves. No matter how much you wait to deceive others, you cannot escape my eyes. Very well. In order to carry out my objective, I can't afford to die. I was just thinking about it. If you're interested in previous Super Robot Wars games, J and A Portable are both translated, as are a couple OGs. Alright, let's just... <laughs> Twin Buster Rifle versus that. <clears throat> Hero. Didn't you say you believed in Zero? But I know. What awaits ahead is that woman's tears. As if I know something prophetic like that. If you don't like the future, then change it yourself! Well, yes, I believe that's what he's trying to do. Also here, let's just take a look. Probably got Prevail active now. Does he have Prevail? Yes, he does. Prevail level 7. He's got quite a few things there. Yes. Wing Zero. Has Machine part. Cannon, Rolling Buster Rifle, Beam Saber, Twin Buster Rifle, Twin Buster Rifle. Twin Buster Rifle, just out of curiosity. And this, this is the reason that everyone wants... One of the two reasons everyone wants to use Hero. Post-movement map attack. With quite a decent range. And another map attack. Ooh, that is far better than his previous one. Yeah, because it's a Twin Buster Rifle. He's holding them both out. Yeah. And then Twin Buster Rifle. Wow, Twin Buster Rifle's cheap as well. Yeah. Well, that's because, I mean, look at it. It's not particularly strong. So I can see the abilities... No, he has completely different abilities. Yeah. Because he's a boss. That should be below 60%. Mm -hmm. Not yet. And we are good on zero points. So now we can afford to choose later on. Do we trust zero, or do we not? We've got six out of five points needed. Yep. Here's Gundam. This thing, it drove water crazy. It may be really strong, but... Colin, Texas has arrived. Choose one battleship. Uh, quarter? Quarter's a bit under-leveled. Yeah, which means it could use levels. Let's go. 20 units. Mm hmm But two units you probably want to deploy are already out. Nikki Basara. No, I don't want Luna Maria. Who wants Luna Maria? <laughs> sure, I'll deploy Gamlin. Yeah, you can deploy. I'll ignore the Gurren Lagann for one stage. Also, remember to clump people properly for Neki Basara. Should be good enough, I think. Is that this group you want? That this group. Diamond? Yeah. Then you need to new Basara up there, because he only has a range of 1 to 5 on the map. It's post movement. No. No? Not for the map. None of his map attacks are post movement. Alright. Well, not standard. So, alright. Right. No. Yeah, the swap. You okay, Zero? You don't need to worry. I won't die that easily. That hero. Who was trying to kill Zero? He's also fighting alongside him? But that was only until now. Huh? I've confirmed Zero's resolve. No matter what he does, he will take responsibility for his actions. And so... I shall see him until see over him until watch over him until the end. I 
don't really understand, but it looks like we have one less thing to worry about. Problem is Hero. Zero. Zexus. Hero! Get out of the way, Ms. Hero! That Gundam is... At this rate, if Zero continues, Zexus will. In that case, I'll destroy it. Hero, you're being swallowed by the machine! That Gundam. The Zero system invades the pilot's consciousness. We're fighting other humans here! Or, if humans are the ones that are fighting, the ones who stop them should also be humans! We shouldn't have to rely on machines for the power to fight. <laughs> that Gundam is wrong! Sexus. You are all my enemies! Be careful, everyone. The laws have arrived! At a time like this? Hmm. Where goes? Those are new. And those aren't. <laughs> Seems like Mr. Billy Gatagiri was having some problems, huh? We should have gone out there and along with them to test the Wing Zero. That machine has an important point, part in Yulia Schimberg's plan. We can't afford to let it fall into their hands. Oh, hi, Divine whatever your name is. All we need to do is retrieve it. With my imprints and parans, and we'll, we'll take out Celestial Being. Ah, in just a moment. He took out Wing as well, and he's just the same as you. Oh well, guess we just have to treat this as revenge. Exactly right. Invader, innovators, a new, a new type of mobile armor. There's some mobile dolls I haven't seen before too. There's the new models that were being developed on the moon. <clears throat> Looks like it's a hybrid of that red and blue and red and blue ones here when Troll were piloting. They look tough. Hey, laws. You're also my enemies. All your I'd first eliminate both Theolos and Hero. Okay, follow our orders. Very well. Rip. Mr. Sumeragi, heroes. If his consciousness is being manipulated by that Gundam, all we can do is stop his machine. Hero Huey, have you also been swallowed up by the Gundam? Everything. He's my enemy. So. <clears throat> destroy the Wing Zero. Uh... And within four turns of the ALS arriving, clear the map. That's your SR point. Yeah, it's not that terrible. So yeah. The Altron. Vulcan, Beam Cannon, Twin Beam Trident, Dragon Fang. And no one really cares about Ptolemaeus, so let's just... Investigate the at least... The only new thing. No, no, the Virgo's a new base. The Improns. <clears throat> he is a genius. Support attack level 3, energy save, ignore size. Blah, blah, blah. Has a GN field and energy recover. Has... Egna Whip, which inflicts uh, will down. Pierces barriers and ignore size. And large-scale beam cannon. I must disappear for a moment. Good luck. Which songs will up? Totsugeki Love Heart. All right. Yes, that one. There we go. Eight well. Uh, I love hearts. Man, these things are bulky.
bounce you in a bit. The micro missiles. All right. Twin Dragon Fang. If we're using Dragon Claws? Yep. And then finish off with a flamethrower through the face, just for good measure. And an uppercut. Oh. Yep, they have so, barriers. So, yeah, they do. One attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Virgos. So I'm pretty sure it's a Virgo. Pretty sure that's what those are called. Yeah, Virgo. The Virgos versus the Virgola. Sadly, not a thing that can occur here. Yet. Sar's song energy is too low. Really? Hmm? No, I was able to sing, but... Only plus eight will. Hmm. Rather than the plus ten I was planning on, or hoping for. Hoping for. Poor Basara. He needs his ace bonus, I think. Still targeting. Plus eighteen. An eighteen percent chance to hit with the beam saber. Zero. Someday. You will destroy this world! So. Hi. No oh, gemlin. Micro missiles. What do yours look like? And seventh moon. Yep. Do, 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 seventh Not moon. quite yet. Yeah, sign up. There's the long guitar <laughs> riffs to start it. I find it amusing that Gamlin notes that they all their attacks all follow a single combat pattern. Well, I mean, yes, they're AI. Powerful AI? Yeah. But at the same time, they're AI. And as such, what they can do is limited. It's easy to forget, but Macross characters are supposed to be ace pilots. Yes, it is very easy to forget when, you know, they keep on bleeding out on the floor. Now, now, none of them have bled out on the floor. In a chair, yes. I can't think of any that bled out on the <laughs> floor, though. Well, how about, it's hard to remember that when your aces keep on bleeding out. Yeah. Did Delta do that as well? Yes. Hmm. Skull Eater of Delta <laughs> died. And his unit was... No, passed down is the wrong term. <laughs> uh, forcibly stolen by the main character? Borrowed. So, Borrowed with uh, as much how's Zero's... Map attack looking. Oh, yeah. Tasty. That looks very tasty. <laughs> Mind you, he's already <laughs> an ace, but, uh... I don't think he'll get any kills, but that would be very good for softening up for others. That's why Zero is really awesome. Yeah, I've been looking at that clump and going, hmm, that looks good. You got yeah, one, kill. one kill. One kill and, you know, six or seven others softened up. His phase transition cannon, or whatever it is, is not to be underestimated. Yeah, 
Yeah, go ahead and use on this one. Another Bjorland down. You know, she'll always wonder why on earth someone gave Jared Mesa a Bjorland custom in the Super Robot Wars. Well, they had to give him something decent. No, they didn't. They did not have to give Jared Mesa anything. <clears throat> he is scum. But he's a great pilot. And don't you know piloting skills are all that matters? To the Titans. <clears throat> you know what, let's go for it. Try again, Aquarian. Yeah, the Aquarian needs more. Buff them to logicity. <clears throat> sure, let's actually watch. Try again. <clears throat> Be sure to listen to this. Sir, Blaine, look at the information. By far the most important song. Oh, Neki Basara. Isn't that just a wonderful battle cry? Let's go, bomber. Yeah. Try again. That's Those up. Those sparkles are 100% accurate. I don't know what his stats were like before. So I can't say, but... But he's got some buffs. Next up. <clears throat> to infinite punch the underwater enemy? I can only singularly infinite punch right now. You wouldn't think they'd have a high skill stat as they aren't people, but... No, that's not the reason why. It's because element system isn't active. I know, I'm saying even without that. You wouldn't think they'd have a super high skill set seeing as they aren't people. You can only rely on pre-programmed motions. Oh, one was enough. Hmm. Aquarian is strong. You don't want to do that. She did want to repair it. Third option. And it can fly while transformed. Instinct is option three. Thing. You better have instinct. His skill is actually pretty decent. Focus, Focus, accelerate, instinct, range up. I mean, especially for a uh, Macross pilot. Yep. Okay, Gamlin, show off your It's punch. exactly what it sounds like. Harden the barrier around your fist, and then punch with it. All you did was wound my pride! Can you guess who came up with that wonderful attack? Um... The Macross itself? It was used first on the original Macross? The Daedalus Maneuver, yes, to some extent. But the person who was such an idiot, they decided to try- Max Genius? Sara. Hmm. Sara used it to rip through a door. Rip through a door? Rip through a door. Okay. Fine. There was a hangar door, and everyone was going to die. He still hated <coughs> himself for having to use force. But, but, um... I... <coughs> yeah. Well, Turkos prevails active, at least. <coughs> Neki Basar hates violence. As opposed to violence always being the answer. But yes, uh, that's something to watch out. They've all got support defense. Cool. He's still got two kills. Mm hmm. She is just that good. Sure. I mean, the Mazinger is Mazinger. It's pretty powerful. Usually. Oh, so these ones don't. That's good to know. Oh, right. Yes. It just dawned on me. <laughs> He's aced. 
and they are solar furnace units, so this should be an obscene damage output. So, Setsuna, how much can you not stand the people twisting Yulia Schoenberg's plan? Prove it to us here with some ludicrous damage numbers. Only 8,000? Eh. Mm. That's acceptable. I mean, look at its damage output. I wasn't expecting much more than that. I was expecting, you know, roughly 10,000. He doesn't have hot blood or soul or anything. There are limits to what can be done without hot blood or soul. Technically. <clears throat> Do remember you will have to eventually deal with the Wing Zero. <clears throat> or maybe not. I do eventually have to deal with that. <clears throat> mm, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead and bless. Pretty darn sure this would kill. Full saber. I think. That's the wrong one. He doesn't have it. Let's just go for everything. Lock on there. Number two. Full saber attack. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment. Is a mere pull I'm enough? not back in a moment. Send the destiny down. Alright. Goodbye, revive revival. Yep. Farewell, revive revival. Your name is bad. Sniper kit acquired. <clears throat> I heard the brink got taken up by them s up in space. It might be dangerous to leave them around any longer. Seed mode and Seed mode activated. Alright. So, so, Revive Revival is done. <coughs> um, the Bjarland is covering for it. <coughs> Hence why I'm dealing with Bjarland first. Bjarland. <coughs> How on earth did that become Bjarland? No idea. From Bjarland to Bjarland. Remember the Gels Gaz have support defend. I'm just gonna look this up. Garland. <coughs> yeah, the Garland is the Bayaran. I don't get that. But sure, do what you like, mecha designers. I'll have the VX system available again. So it seems. I don't know. Could be just a cruel joke. One more. <laughs> and you have the time. And crow's aced. Mm-hmm. Plus 25% money earned, and above 130 will, plus 10% damage. As expected of the debtor hero. But never tell him that. Mm-hmm. He would hate both parts of that statement. Debtor he... and hero. No, oh, no. He's not Luffy, but... I don't think he would particularly care for being called a hero. Probably not, but... 
He would not hate it to the degree that Luffy D Monkey does. <clears throat> that sounds so wrong. What? Luffy D Monkey. Yes, yeah, saying his full name does sound weird. No, I'm just used to hearing it the other way around. Monkey D. Luffy. Because localization. Yeah. And saying it that way, I only just realized how stupid of a joke that probably is. Why? D as in the... The will of D. No, no, no. D as a replacement for the. Luffy the monkey. Yeah. But. Ooh. Soul. Sweet. <laughs> We're starting to run out of ammo. Going to have him go attack the other. Have Setsuna go attack the other mech. The other innovator. Well, first things first. Screw it. Garland, die. Hyper Beam Saber. It's not a waste. He's getting so close to Ace. Camille? Yes. <laughs> that, however, would be a waste. That would. 67 kills. Very good. Jolly good. Ross is going to use the spigot. I'm going to, uh... Save state, just in case that does something very bad. I don't think they would be cruel enough to do that. If you do it as a mistake. But also, this is Super Robot Wars. Mm -hmm. An evil one goes berserk whenever it dies. Yeah. In any game. So you can never really tell what they'll do. I'm fully expecting Crow <laughs> to go berserk and become an enemy here. We'll see. <clears throat> Man, that looks... Stupid. <clears throat> That's what turns into the god Eliza, isn't it? Probably. <clears throat> but hey, Gian Fang. But the god Eliza looks so much better. Well, I mean, the god Eliza also had years more research and development, probably. Although I don't know how long it is between end of the series and Awakening of the Trailblazer. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can look it up. Yeah. But yes, Awakening of the Trailblazer. Who came up with that name, I wonder? <coughs> I could probably easily see it by looking up Setsuna. Or any of them, really. Except maybe Tiaria. Except Tiaria. Lock-on's questionable. Well, if it was Lock-on the second. <clears throat> no, nope. Looks like now. Good. Nothing happened. Good to know you didn't go berserk and try to murder everyone. Yeah. Should be on with the more tab. So that's an FCA. Oh, you're starting to lag behind. Okay, yeah. Let's have you do it. So it is two years between the end of Double O Gundam Season 2 and the start of Awakening of a Trailblazer. He's 16 in Season 1. Setsuna, as we see him here, should be 21. And then in Awakening of the Trailblazer, he is 23. Need to do that to get the level up. Mm-hmm. So the impron the impron's wasn't fully made, huh? Divine Nova, retreating. And then of course there's old man Chrome God Setsuna. 
Yes, who's 73, I believe it said? Yeah. It's 50 years later. Yeah. They have support defense as well. <clears throat> but maybe with only only with other Virgos? Or maybe it's just that those two Virgos were different. The world may never know. Because they're dead. Yes. <coughs> so, all this left is the wing zero. <clears throat> Not quite close enough for an Elendite. I'd just focus. I don't think there's much else happening in this stage. Don't know. There is something happening. One unit's not terrible, though. He has soul, remember? Yeah. Alright, here I don't I... think it'll kill. Hung up 4,000. With soul? Mm hmm. Because remember, he has prevail. Zero level 7. Prevail, zero system. And guard. Uh, which means he reduces all damage by 20%. Yes, you have that. Let's go for it. I can double 3D move and punch. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> or I can close in. And go for a double whatever the strongest attack is. Well, it's, well, it's only doing one. one. Flash is third. Yeah, let's go ahead and use Flash. Alright, so. There you go. He's down. Could have used Bless there, but. Probably. Eh. <clears throat> really, no. Hero! Let's see. You said we skipped the Zero System, but he's lost consciousness. Watch out. Something else is coming. That Gundam. Julio Sarchez. He's here? Yeah, wait a minute. I've got something I need to take care of first. They were targeting the Wing Zero? Julio Sarchez. Why would you retrieve that Gundam? It's what my master ordered. After all, I don't need to talk to you, do I? But from now on, I'll do what I like! Let's start this war! You warrior. You war loving freak. I won't forgive you! Hero! Please respond, hero! He won't dive it that easily. We need to focus on the enemies in front of us. Hero. We'll come and pick you up soon. So please, just wait a little more. So, annihilate all enemies. Oh, and this is your final turn to get the SR point, so. Oh, jeez, really? Mm hmm. What's left? These three? That it? <laughs> Two Gales Gales and Alio Sarchez. Uh, uh, that's gonna be... Mm -hmm. Nigh on impossible. I was gonna say if you use the uh, everything available post-movement, you might have been able to get off a shot there, but... I've got two saving graces here. This... This... Check the Ultron. What can Wufei do? I mean, Wufei. Wufei's actually decent. And I was talking about his skills. Does he have the available post movement? Um, maybe. No, he does not. He doesn't have enough this. Analyze. At least on the jack march. Energy costs. Okay, I can't do that. You already have lock on, I believe. <clears throat> Burn the energy. After all, if this fails, you know, it's about over. Strongest attack. And I would probably be singing right now if my throat wasn't filled with mucus at the moment. Oh yes, the Aquarian. 
going for its Lotus Punch. <clears throat> so it's something dead blow. 15,000, how much of that HP is that? Most. A lot. <clears throat> Alright, let's just skip over. Did not kill. Barely. That can be dealt with, maybe. Not Hit the kill scare. <clears throat> Check Jeffrey, does he have the... Has he got the skill? No, he does not. Yeah, he does. No, he does not have everything available post-movement. He does not have this. Okay. Yeah, now it's just at range. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I see how I can do this. Maybe. My thought would be... A little too low. You want to either buff... Um... You... You want to buff... Wufei. Yeah. That way Wufei can get over there. If he could kill that one Gelsga in a single attack... I don't think he can, but... Also, see how far the big O can get. Is it Maxwell? That's far away. No, you don't have the upgrades for further range. Uh, do, do check the other spirit commands again one last time. Range up. Range up. Alright, in that case... <coughs> just quickly check. <coughs> Alright, so... Soften with that, use Dragon Fang, use her to try and kill everyone else. Alright, this should work. Probably. That means that this will. My controller appears to be broken. Fun. Give us one moment, moment here. for technical difficulties. Am I going to have to use the keyboard? Possibly. Have you configured the keyboard? Always fun with technical difficulties. This just connected to the PS4, I think. I don't know how. Alright, keyboard. Here's something you've configured it. All I really need. just realized is how far can you get all right yeah I... all right let's hope this works who do you think I have the better chance of killing Probably the Gelska. Let's see. Yep. Yep. So this should just barely work. Remember to lock on. <clears throat> Might as well go all out. Alright, so here's hoping this will be enough. Alright, so enough. that should be the SR point. An adrenaline ampoule. Adrenaline ampoule. Hm. Not bad. This is why I can't give up fighting. 
you. X is out. His passion is so wonderful. Let's meet again, Zexis. Elio searches. That's the man who killed my brother. At the very least, I'll kill him myself. That's our point. Just barely. At any rate, it looks like we've gotten rid of all enemies for now. But thanks to the fact that they've absorbed all us, the Elos have grown even stronger. Hero! Where's Hero? There aren't any... You're not getting any life form readings anywhere around. To think he was able to run away like that? He's crazy as usual. He's as inhuman as always. Hero, where are you now? Ikaruga's hangar. Hero. But the fact that he but the fact that there were there were no life signs there means that he has escaped that place. <laughs> he really is immortal, isn't he? I know it may seem but cold comfort. But do believe that for now, Quatra. Thanks, Wufei. You're being awfully nice here. Cullen, hmm. Alright, tell me. Why were you fighting against Zero? We'd like to know that too. Depending on that, we may have to deal with either you or Zero. I've told you the reason I fought against him many times since the destruction incident. I cannot trust him. Back during the Idols at Area 11, during the fight in the Chinese Federation, he claimed that he was fighting for his own justice. But I had doubts about who he truly really was behind that mask. In other words, you think that Zero oh, holds a different goal? Back when I saw the hero declare him his enemy, I felt that stir once again. And so I decided to test him once more. <clears throat> I mean, there are many times where we've had doubts about Zero's actions. Someone like you who left everything to instinct and fought against his commander? I can't even imagine that. All I did was carry out my own justice. I do not need others' approval. However, if you do believe in Zero, if you didn't believe in Zero, you wouldn't have come back here, right? Exactly right. <clears throat> That's exactly what I can't understand. Why would you do something like that? <clears throat> It's pointless to explain to someone who doesn't under refuses to understand. You leave it to that, Colin. Hmm. Looks like you chose the most perfect timing for an entrance, as always. Let's see. <coughs> I figured that it would be easier for me to appear to settle the doubts and questions that you have. Well then, Zero, allow me to ask you again. Why did Hero attack you? <clears throat> As you know, that Wing Zero... That Gundam known as the Wing Zero is equipped with a system that infiltrates the pilot's consciousness. The Zero system. <clears throat> As a result of that system... Um, he was shown a certain dream, a fantasy of some kind. And as a result of that... Things that happened today, they occurred. No. I was led astray by that system before, so I know. Yeah, I know. Zero system does show your mind I mean, something incredible, but... <clears throat> it's far too crazy to say that's the only reason. There has to be some purpose behind it. <clears throat> In other words, what you're saying is that today's fight was a result of something inside a Hero being run out against Zero. Very well, Zero. I shall believe that explanation of yours. Wufei? Well then, Wufei. Now we'll ask you. <clears throat> you explained the reason <clears throat> and that you fought against Zero before. Er, we didn't explain why you drew your sword. Explain it so we can all understand. 
Let's see, zero. I cannot say for certain that Zero's intentions are good. However, he is not a fool. He is the sort of person and who, who will, once something has been done, take responsibility for it. That is what I was able to tell from my exchange of blows with him. And so, I intend to follow this man until the end. And then, if he is unable to carry it out, that time, I shall take on the role for him. Allow me to thank you for your resolve to question me, Wu Fei. <clears throat> However, I'm not such a carefree man as to ignore something like that. Do not forget your word, Zero. Do you understand, Colin? I think I do. Well, that's good enough, I guess. Let's just hope that Wu Fei is correct. No, I've been hoping. Before something bad does happen, we'll do something about it. <laughs> You're a good person, Kira. I'd like to think that. And so would I. After all, I think that everyone here is here because they think what they're doing is right. Thank you, Zero. Give thanks, Zero. If the worst case should happen, before you can do anything foolish, I'm certain these people will be able to stop you. I'm doing everything I can to ensure a day like that never comes. Him. You've come to hold an interest in him. Haven't you? <laughs> it isn't just a single instinct. It isn't just an instinct after all. <clears throat> Knowing how much backbone zero has will be an important thing for me as well. Important? <clears throat> it's very likely that the reason he is now is a result of the way he's lived. For someone like me who doesn't have a past, the path that he walks. I want to know what it is that that will give him. I'd like to know as well. What reason is there that both you and him have such bad hobbies? Future that will be created, hmm? Lelouch. I'd like to see the future you create too. Future hero saw in the Zero System. Even if that was my fate, the only one who will decide if I accept it or not is me. Until that day, I'll keep on living. Until I create a day where Nunnally can live in peace, I cannot die. For the sakes of all the people whose fates have been twisted by me as well. So, all right. it's a bit later than usual thanks to that, but we'll go ahead and cut here for now. So, I hope everyone has been enjoying this here. We are going to go ahead and cut off here, but We'll be back on Monday as usual, and who knows, at that point, we might or might not be able to get to chapter 29. Two chapters from now is going to be a long one, as we get a lot of stuff in it. What's the next chapter? Messenger ah. from the Darkness. But we'll see. We may only wind up doing one chapter tomorrow, since 29 will take a long time, but we'll decide it then. So, until next time. May all of you have a good weekend. See you.